Hey everybody, I'm going to show you guys how to do a kind of quick, simple, uh, nice looking resume, uh, online resume for for like a production reel. If you're an editor or a director or a uh, cinematographer or somebody that does camera work, um, I'm going to show you just kind of basic idea behind creating a an online resume that you can send to people if you're applying for jobs and positions and whatnot. Uh, first of all, uh, Weebly is a good uh, free site to create a free website. Uh, you don't know how to have the, the web space. Uh, you can uh, buy a domain name if you want. But uh, first of all, I'm, I've, you can sign up for free and uh, just use a, any, and create your username and email. Uh, use your email to log in and I'm just going to log in. I've got mine here. So, Okay, once I'm logged in here, uh, sometimes Weebly will bring up a splash screen that asks you if you want to create a new site and what type of site you want to do. If it doesn't bring that up, you can actually skip that and just click on add site up here. You manually add a site. I've already got one site that's that's there. But it will when you click on that, it's first of all going to bring open this little screen here that asks you do you want to create a regular website, a blog site, or a store if you're doing things that you're trying to sell online. On this one I'm just doing a regular site for a, a resume. Uh, and it will bring up, the free version brings up a bunch of different templates to choose from. Uh, you can go through and find one that you like. I'm just going to kind of show the basic, I'm just going to show a basic rundown here of, of creating, of uh, getting the web page up and up and running. And, and I've got some photos, I've got some kind of production photos that I've been taking. I've got like a picture of uh, this big Jimmy Jib and we've got a picture of uh, green screen, some green screen footage that we shot. Um, so some productions that that I've worked on. Here's a sound stage with, uh, with a set built and a little edit bay here and uh, some other things. So I've just got some nice high-res pictures that I'm going to use for kind of designing the website and making it, making it look pretty fancy here. So, um, By the way, if you want to, the, if you go into something like this and you do some manipulation, it's going to make the photos come across looking a little bit better. I opened one of the images up in Photoshop here and I'm just going to um, I'm going to create just like a little vignette. First of all, I'm going to do a little bit of color correction. Actually, you can just, oftentimes uh, Photoshop has some nice quick auto uh, features in here. If you really know Photoshop, you can pr you can really manipulate your photos to look better. I did an auto tone there to change the color temperature, make it not so blue. Auto contrast, add some contrast to it, and uh, auto color here. And, and there we go. And uh, this shot looks a little bit better than it did before. I mean, I can even do something like creating a, a vignette. Got a new layer, and I know there's probably some better ways to do this, but I'm not a big Photoshop master, so I'm going to create a new layer. I'm just showing you an example of something to make your photos look a little bit better here. I'm going to create a quick mask with a vignette here. I'm going to make like a 40 pixel uh, fade here. Actually, let's make that about an 80 pixel, make that really nice and soft. Delete that. And now I'm going to go up here and just turn down the opacity to just kind of emphasize the image in the middle. Grab that layer and make it a little bit bigger so it just kind of vignettes around the edges, just like that. There we go. And go in here, go to Curves. And the Curves just make this image just a little bit more contrast and make it look a little more stylized. There we go. Okay, then I'm just going to save this image here. There we go. I got this nice kind of vignetted picture. So if you want to manipulate your photos, if you have some uh, custom photos that you want to use, you can bring them in and kind of adjust them and make something that'll make it look a little bit, a little bit cooler. So I'm going to go back to Weebly here, and I kind of like this template here. You can use whatever template you want, but I'm going to choose this one here. I like this one because it's got that kind of big image for the background. It kind of takes up a lot of place, uh, space there. And you can uh, go in here and check mark. Use a subdomain of Weebly. If you already have a domain name you've purchased, you can use that down here, and it will connect it to the uh, to the domain name. I'm just going to uh, come up with one. I've already got chinfat.weebly.com. I'm going to try a different one. I'm going to try Channing. Uh, Channing's taken, so I'm going to say Channing Lowe is Channing Lowe taken. It's available, so I'm going to do channinglow.weebly.com. So I'm going to choose that. And here we go. Now we're on our way, and it brings it up. I'll open this interface. Let's show you a few quick things that this does here. And up here, you've got your build, design, and pages. We're going to use these three things here to, to uh, do, yeah, to build our page, to design it, and uh, manipulate some of the pages here, and add pages as well. Over here, you have uh, three default pages automatically. Any one of these you click on, it will automatically go to that page. This is your home page, this is your about page, this is contact, and we're going to add some of these for our resume here. I'm going to do a commercial production uh, resume here. But uh, over here on this side, what you've got is you've got these tabs for building your page. Under the build section, 
it'll bring these tabs up here. You have your uh, basic tab with text and some other things. You've got your structure. You've got your media tab. You've got your uh, money tab, your commerce tab, and then you've got more some other items down here. I'm going to go back to the basics here. Uh, and actually, what I want this to do, you've got what's called a header up here at the top. This is kind of your header that kind of introduces the page. And down here, you have more room to create all of your, um, basically all your content here. I'm going to kind of go a little bit different here because this is going to be more of a video-based page. So first of all, I'm going to make this my, my main page. Actually, I'm going to change something here because I, I don't want this to be a header. I want it to be a full screen image. So I'm going to go under uh, Design. And I'm going to change the background first of all. And I'm going to do upload image. So I can choose one of their um, I can choose one of their stock images, or I can actually navigate to my computer, upload. And I'm going to go to the desktop. And I'm going to find one that I want to use. Uh, I like that photo there, but I want something a little different for my main page. Actually, I am going to use it for my main page. So I'll grab this photo, open it, and I'll upload it. And I know how that as my background, but I've got my header up here, and I've got all this kind of uh, the body of my web page down here. But like I said, I want to kind of go full screen on this. You can, um, well, I'm going to save this first of all. But I like to pull this little, do this little pull down, and say save only to this page because I want. For this, I'm going to do a custom photo to each image just to make it a little bit more dynamic. But see, look at the vignette here; it looks nice, kind of stylized. I'm going to save it only to this page. Uh, now I'm also going to go to pages, and on the home page. I'm going to change the, the header type here. I'm going to say, do it, use this as a splash page. You have a tall header, a short header, if you want something smaller, landing page, um, which has, you can do some little sections up here as well, but I'm going to t tell it to do a splash page, which is going to make the image kind of this full screen. Here, save, and boom, there we go. And it's got this little section here that we can start dragging elements into. So this is my w main website here. And it also has this thing up here that's kind of a little text button here. Um, I've got a logo that's a PNG. Let me show you what a PNG is. I've got a logo here. This is where I work at Salt Lake Community College. But um, and you open this up, and you notice kind of all this white stuff uh, below here. All the, um, this is actually a PNG image. This is actually alpha channel right here, and it doesn't look like it right now because it's solid white. If I open this up in Photoshop, you'll notice that. Okay, this opens up in Photoshop. You'll no notice all these kind of gray and white squares here. Um, you'll notice all these gray and white squares here. And this is alpha channel, this, these gray and white squares here. That means just this image here is going to show as a logo. It's not going, And you can actually create a PNG quite easily if you have your own logo. You can delete this space in here and create an alpha channel. Um, see, if this was a white background, let me show you how you could create a, a PNG with an alpha channel. So say you've got an image that looks like this. Right now I've got these as layers. I'm going to actually merge these layers here. So it's just one layer, as if it's just like a, some bitmap I opened up. So OK, I've merged that all into one layer. So now this is, if I, if I bring this logo in, it's going to show All right, I'm going to save this as a JPEG here to show what happens if you bring this flattened white Im uh, image with this white in, uh, what that will look like. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to hold this over, over my site and change this to a logo. Uh, and I'm going to upload that JPEG logo. Let me show you the difference between like a JPEG and a PNG. There you go. See, when this brings it in, you actually see the white. That's part of the image right there. So if you're going to create a, an alpha channel out of this, you can open it up in Photoshop and go in and select all the white here. I'm going to select the white uh, with this little magic wand. I'm going to go up to select and say select similar. So it selects all the white, all the white like within the A and the O and all that stuff that's not connected to this white. So I'm going to say select similar. And now that it's selected all that, all I have to do is hit delete and delete all that white. And it creates an alpha channel. I'm going to do command D or control D on a PC to, to deselect. And now you can go up to file save as and save this as a PNG. PNG will still recognize when you hit save, the PNG will recognize um, that alpha channel. And it will maintain that alpha channel. And the uh, Weebly understands that. So I'm going to not save that because I've already got a version of this. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to hit edit because I'm going to change this. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to delete that. Yes, remove. I'm going to go back up to my site. And go logo. I'm going to upload. And I'm going to choose my original PNG. Now look at the difference here when I upload this. 
There we go. Got a nice alpha channel there. It just shows the logo up there. Okay, so now that I've got my logo in there, I've got my image on my background. Uh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab a title. I'm going to drag my title here and I'm going to say what this page is. I'm going to say Channing Low Production Resume. Okay, so I've got a title in there. You can actually um, go in here and justify this to the center if you want it centered like that. Um, you can actually change your font. The font's a little tricky here. You can change the size of your font just by clicking, um, by selecting your, your text there and hitting minus or plus. Uh, it kind of has these little increments here. That one looks pretty good right there. Uh, but if you want to change the font, you have to actually go to design. Go to the design. Actually, I'm going to get everything in here first and then I'm going to change it. So I'm going to grab text and drag it in. I put a title in. I'm going to grab text, throw it in there. And now with my text here, I'm going to increase my size a little bit, and I'm just going to say this website demonstrates, and you can put in a quick, uh, almost like mission statement of what your web page is about. Demonstrates productions that I've worked on, so I'll type this out and come back. Okay, so I put text in here, got my title, and I've got my text here. Um, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger here. Got kind of my mission statement, make that a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. There we go. And if you want to get rid of these things, you can just hover over these different boxes and go up to the X and hit X and it's going to delete them. Um, now if you want to change font, you can go to design and uh, you can go up here to change fonts and then you go and tell it what you want to change fonts to. And if you hover over these things, it's going to highlight. You'll see them highlight depending on what type of uh, items they are. Like right there, this is a paragraph title. That's paragraph text. You can see the highlights pop up. Go to paragraph titles, and I can change this to some other format here. So I'm gonna, some other font. I'm going to go to paragraph text, do the same thing. There we go. And I've got a different font type. Okay, now that I've created my home page, I'm going to start creating my other pages here. I'm going to go to Pages, and I kind of like the style of this home page. I'm going to use that over again. I'm actually just going to go to my under Pages. I'm going to go up and do Delete My About Page. I'm going to create my own custom pages and delete my contact page. Now under Home here, uh, and by the way, the free plan, you're only limit, you're, you are limited to 10 pages. If you need more, you're going to have to upgrade and you're going to have to pay for it. <clears throat> but this I'm not going to use that many. So I'm going to go to um, Copy Page and it will duplicate my home page there. So I've got my home page, and I've got another one. I'm going to rename this one Commercials. I'm going to create uh, a couple different here. I'm going to copy that page as well, and I'm going to rename this one Industrials. So these are different type of commercial projects that I've worked on here. Uh, copy page, and I'm going to name this one Music Videos. And then I'm going to copy the page and do a contact screen. I'm going to save that and edit these pages. So I'm now going to click on my commercial. And it's got the same style, it's got the same font, the same everything here, but I'm going to rearrange this a little bit. I'm going to go to um, Design. I'm going to change my background and I'm going to get a custom photo. I'm going to do this for each page, do a custom photo for each page. And I'm going to do that for every single page. I'm going to click on each one. Actually, I'm going to save this one for this page only and do the same thing to these two. And I'll be back when I get each one of these loaded. Okay, so now I've got a, a photo for each one of these pages here for my commercials, for my industrials, my music video. But now I just have to change the text on each one of these. On this one, I'm going to write um, 30 second commercials. So I'm going to have a section here, and then I can actually use this text and do a quick description of what I did uh, on on this on these particular commercials. I can say on these commercials, I was producer and editor. So whatever you're trying to do a resume for, you can do each page a little bit different. And this one's 30 second commercials, and I can put a little bit more description. I'll just put a basic description right now. But now I'm going to go to build. And I'm going to scroll down, and you'll see a little YouTube link here. You can actually upload HD video to uh, Weebly, but it, now it's another feature that costs money. So if you want to do the free one, you can actually grab and drag YouTube here, a YouTube window. And then it's going to have this little logo right there, or this little title right here. You just click on this, 
Right now it's got a generic YouTube um, uh, window. You just click right here and it will open this up and you can paste a YouTube URL on there. So I've got some loaded on here. I've got a commercial reel right here. This is a commercial. I'm going to copy this link here and go back and paste it in there. And now that's it. And that will bring up the thumbnail. If you want a different thumbnail, you can go on YouTube and upload a different thumbnail for that video and it will show up. So now you can put what you did on these commercials that you're showing here. Now I can go to industrials and it's the same thing. I will change this to industrial productions and then go down here and change this and put your credits in for the next video that you're going to put in. So I'm going to drag this YouTube icon right there, drop it in, and I've got a YouTube icon. Click here. Go to the industrial web page. Once I have my industrial resume clips on, I'll load it up to YouTube. Click on that and boom, it up updates it. And there's the next one. So I'm going to do that to this one and then we'll come back to the contact page. Okay. Now that I've got all those loaded, so I've got my home page here. If you click on each one, it'll, it'll navigate and show you each one. There's my home page. Now people can just click on these items over here, commercials, industrial, and they'll be able to play these videos right here on the, on the screen. Uh, they can choose HD mode and play them in HD if they wish. But I'm going to go to my contact screen, and I'm going to add um, Channing Low contact information. Now, under here I can say, I can just go into my little text here and say, to contact me, please email me at, and then I can put my email address. So I'm going to put a fake email address here, bob at ted.com. I don't know whose email it is. Don't email that person, I guess. Uh, I'll say tedjohnson.com. I don't know. And that's my email right there. But I'm going to highlight this here. And I'm going to go up to this little hyperlink icon right there and click and create a link and I can tell it to link to that email address. And now I can say, when people click on this, send it to this email address. And I can put my email address in here, bob at tedjohnson.com, which is a fake email address, and save. Now when people click on this, that's a hyperlink there. You can also do this to hyperlink to other web pages and whatnot. If you have another page with other things, you can tell them to... Um, to either contact you or link to another web page there. So it's pretty simple. Um, now you can also put like, you can put a phone number in here, you can put other items as well. And um, and there you go. But I'm going to go onto this clip and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to increase my text size here. There we go. There we go. To contact me, now people can click on that. And you can put a phone number, put, put anything else you want to. So there we go. That is, is pretty much about it. I've used these custom photos in the background to make this kind of stylized and kind of show personal productions that I've worked on and whatnot. And then people can click on these different categories and go and view different videos that I've up uploaded to YouTube. So like I said, you will have to upload your resume pieces to YouTube and come in and copy and paste the links in here on the, on the YouTube windows. And uh, when you're done, all you have to do is go up to uh, Publish here. Click Publish. And you tell it to publish, publish it to this website. Your website will be, in this instance, channinglow.weebly.com. And you just hit continue. And you select the website type. Make it personal, make it business, whatever you want to make it. And continue. And actually, it, it does load, Weebly does load this onto Google. So if people are searching for it, uh, you can they can Google your name and it will bring this up your Weebly website. So it also tells me that uh, channinglow.com is available. I don't want it. So I'm just going to click up here and skip it because uh, I don't want to buy that. And there we go. And now my page is published. So now if I go to a different uh, tab here, do channinglow.weebly.com. Dot com, my web page will load. You can test it out. There it is. It's online, ready to go. You can click through these things and just test it. Make sure that everything works. Test your video links. Test everything else, and make sure that everything works. Check your email. Make sure your email link works and all that stuff. And uh, that logo kind of stays there through all out all the pages. I kind of like that. So press play. And yep, my YouTube video works just fine. So everything works. And if you have any questions. Please let me know. That's kind of a quick way of doing a nice looking uh, resume, uh, online resume that you can send the link to other people if you're trying to get a job or trying to get work or trying to get freelance. Anyway, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks. Bye.